what we're going to do first is talk about the proximal convoluted tubule since that's the first place that the filtrate enters when it leaves the glomerulus. Keep in mind what we're going to do. We're talking about tubular reabsorption. So what that means is that at the glomerulus, if you look at the picture here, we've got the glomerulus here. We're going to filter stuff at the glomerulus. When we filter it, it ends up in the renal tubule and we want to reabsorb it. So we want to put it back into the blood. So that's the whole point of doing this. And the colors here are coordinated on your diagram. So the yellow part refers to the lumen, and this is the lumen of the proximal convoluted tubule. Here are your epithelial cells of the proximal convoluted tubule. Paratubular space is the interstitial fluid. And then of course you have the plasma, which is typically your paratubular capillary. So when we're reabsorbing, we wanna take our solutes in our water and our sugar into the plasma from the nephron, specifically the lumen of the proximal convoluted tubule and into the plasma. Keep in mind that you do most, our nephrons do most reabsorption or most of the reabsorption occurs in the proximal convoluted tubule. And this is gonna involve what's called transepithelial transport. So we're gonna be transporting stuff across the epithelial cells. And what we're gonna reabsorb is listed here for you. So 99% water, all of your sugar, almost all of your salts. And to give you some more details, you can look at this table here on the right. 